Are these white? Yes, ma'am. I, I thought we'd take a I traditional route I specifically asked for lemon chiffon yellow lilies. How am I supposed to have a wedding without lemon chiffon yellow lilies? <laughs> It's been sort of a stressful process. Bridezillas, getting them to the altar can be a challenge. Life is crazy enough. Your finances shouldn't be. A plus Federal Credit Union, with you every step. You talking to Midas. Everything I touch is gold. It's not just aluminum, it's not just metal, all of it's gold for me. Look, man, I ain't got time to talk to you about this. I'll see you in the site. I ain't got time for this. I don't have time for this, all right? Hey. Well, this is awesome. We're from Oregon. Are you sure we can do this? Sure, it's Texas. Today we're in a proper Texas-sized grocery establishment. This is my new Tillamook cheese display? Awesome. I mean, you wouldn't just have driven your van to my cheese aisle, right? Actually, it's a bus, but that's a common mistake. Uh, while we sort this out, please find our delicious Tillamook cheese right here on this shelf. can't file a missing persons report until the person's been missing for at least 48 hours, miss. Of course you can't. Well, is there a form I can fill out? But you can't file that for another two days, assuming the person is still missing. Thank you. At the Austin Code Department, we know how easy it is to take city codes for granted. So we invited some folks in to give them some info. Name's Virgil. I'm what you might call an entrepreneur, made all my money in oil, really a lucrative market. I accumulated so much money, I literally didn't know what to do with it. And that's what I came up with this idea. I buy your house for cash on the barrel head. These houses are kind of like storage units for my personal accumulation of money. Virgil's problem is he likes to post signs because he knows how busy Austin is and he knows that people are going to pass these signs. People don't want no check. You get a check, what do you do? If it ain't your bank, you got a ticket someplace, cash loan, something like that. You can come right here to the first bank of Virgil's left boot. I got $20,000 here, and I will buy your piece of property. So Virgil, you're not allowed to randomly post signs around Austin. We call those bandit signs. Bandit? I ain't stealing nothing. It's just a name for unauthorized signs that are posted on public property or blocking the right of way. It doesn't matter what the sign is for. Even if it's just a few thousand? Those signs generated a big response, mostly negative. Don't put up them signs, they're an eyesore. Stop putting them signs in my front yard. Stop putting them signs on these stray dogs, etc. I'm gonna need you to take the signs down, Virgil. Can you do that? Yes, ma'am. With Virgil, of course, he has great intentions. It's just that he goes about it the wrong way. Before you know it, that sign is now trash, it's litter. We like to keep the environment beautiful, and unfortunately, sometimes those are eyesores. If I can't put up these bandit signs, then I'm just going to go big. We're talking billboards, billboards, billboards. Can't you just imagine my face right there staring at you all day long? I will buy your house, and I will actually give you some of my money. It's kind of filthy. A lot of my money is covered in baby oil. You know, it gets kind of slick, and you don't that use it. Yeah, I don't know. Curse! Haunted even! What do you mean? What I mean is, you want to get the hell out of here. About 15 years ago, family moved in there. Seemed like nice enough people. Saw them one morning, happy as could be. That very night, the Mr. and the Mrs. wound up dead. And the kids, they up and disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to them. Some people say it was the devil himself trying to teach them a lesson. Other people say it was extraterrestrials <laughs> performing experiments. All I know is, when I go out there to tend them fields, I hear something moving around in that house. Something's in there watching me. I'm telling you, if you go into that house, you ain't coming back out. Well, uh, thank you so much. We actually have to get what going. What are you doing? 
You filming me? Stop filming! Stop 